first look and it's a baby let the waves help it out uh, get him out of the water hey little guy Get you back in. All right, broke the ice. Excuse me, excuse me. About 19 and a half maybe, something like that. 19 and a half. <coughs> yeah. Nice. All right guys, Sony Hong here. I know a lot of you guys that use Gulp. 
You hate this. I hate this. It's just so loosey goosey. All right, so basically everybody knows like once you start off like that, uh, you would just, instead of going this way again, just go upside down and it'll be tight again. All right, but everybody knows that. Uh, the fish doesn't care how it is. It's upside down, even sideways. Once that goes bad, you do it sideways. That's fine. That's no big deal. Uh, I use it as as much as I can. Go, you know, you know. It, arguably, it's expensive. Okay. Now this is one way of extending your life. You know, you know all those other ways, right? Uh, but here's one great way to extend the life of it, and it saved me at least six more strikes. This is how you do it. Just basically take it, put it in an angle, and you're gonna zigzag. Now that points about here, and then you zigzag it in. Now the points over here. You zigzag and just thread it in a zigzag fashion. Keep going, maybe about five times, and then put it back in. Now that thing is tight again. What you're doing is basically those points, those points are squeezing the sh squeezing the shaft of that of that hook so much that it's adding so much pressure that it won't come off. It doesn't matter what type of gulp. Just try that. Try to thread it that way and, and you'll see that it will not come off. Just keep threading it. Now once that goes bad, you can just keep threading it maybe four more times in those, in those different directions. Now that's tight. That ain't going nowhere. That's your tip of the week. Thanks guys.